Street Fighter V. <clears throat> Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to arcade mode. We are playing through the Street Fighter V arcade mode with Sakura. Default costume, second V-trigger, of course. Uh, 11 fights, I believe? Uh, or 10, I'm not sure, actually. But yeah, this is the final arcade run for Sakura. Um, because she's only playable in three of them. That's Alpha, 4, and 5. And Round yeah, one. this is where her story ends. Right. I'm interested to see what the ending is going to be in this one because, well, I mean, I'm curious if it's just going to be the uh, the general story ending or if it's going to be something new and if the art style is going to be the same. Woo. That forward medium kick is amazing. Go! Damn it. Oh. Lots of chips. That medium Tatsu is really, really good. Hadouken! Confirming the super. Man, I really appreciate the uh, like her costume. I think Sakura's costume is great. It's such a, it's way out there to a degree. Like, she's just an arcade employee. She's like wearing this very dolled up uniform. You win. Real interesting. How old is she in Street Fighter V? I'm wondering. Well, she's out of school. She's a college student, I'm assuming. Uh, it's up in the air. How old is Karin? The only characters that are in school currently in the timeline, and I'm, I'm talking Street Fighter Three, I believe. I wonder, is it Makoto, possibly? I know Ibuki, and I know Eliza. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Those are the only characters Round that are in school. Fight. Oh. Ah. Zombie Nash, no! Let's go. Woo. Man, I was thinking about this. I should go back and watch Street Fighter uh, 2V. Uh, I forgot a lot of what happens in that. I know it's a long series too. Um, honestly, if you're looking for good Street Fighter anime, uh, Street Fighter 2V is stupid but fun in its own little way. Like, it doesn't make sense, and it's non-canon, but it, it's somewhat interesting. The Alpha movie sucks, though. The, the two Alpha movies are terrible. Street Fighter 2, the movie, is fantastic. Uh, you get to see chung Li's boobs, which is pretty cool. And it's just super well animated. And you get to see Akuma just randomly in the background. Uh, the Street Fighter 4 animated movie with uh, Jury is actually pretty cool too. Giving her some background stories and stuff. You win. I wouldn't mind another Street Fighter animated movie. But I would want it to be sort of like... Oh, I'm gonna cough. <coughs> oh, I'm dying. Because of all the Street Fighter. I wouldn't want a 3D movie. And I... God, I don't want another live-action movie. No. I don't think fighting games work in live-action. 
God, I, I can't I can't believe the mind frame they must have been in, like to decide that that Legend of Chung Lee movie was gonna work. Like, it doesn't make any sense to me. It, like, it doesn't have anything to do with anything. Like, it feels broken. Round one. Fight. Let's go, Zeku. Oh, I love your theme. He has the best theme out of all of Street Fighter V. I'm excited to see what some of the new characters' themes are going to be. Specifically, Cody's. Um, Because holy shit, I want some good-ass hip-hop. I want another Ed track in Street Fighter V. Um, I'm curious too to see what Cody's story is gonna be. He's obviously refined, you know. Uh, in the story, I'm assuming he gets out of prison for good behavior, but is just like still kind of like I don't know if I, I don't know if I fit in society well because you know I'm still a fighting like obsessed weirdo. You can't escape that life. Which is incredible. I, I I always thought the canon was super cool in the sense that it was just like Cody's in jail because he can't fucking handle like he has to fight. He's in so many fights all the time, and they took that like small concept of fight a uh, final fight where Cody's just like I gotta go go beat some people up and guys like stop it you idiot go back and talk to your girlfriend. Let's go get Scottyn just to have a canon. Um, but I just love that. I like that idea that Cody is literally just obsessed with fighting and can't escape it. And he understands that. And what's really interesting is like, I mean, if you think about it, lore wise, Cody's probably the strongest person in the world. <laughs> Cody's like, so, like, he's just a normal dude. He has like no fighting prowess whatsoever. Like, he, he has no skill involved in his fighting style you know he doesn't have a fighting style he's just the dude who's so strong that when he punches upwards a tornado forms like he doesn't have any like rashid style like apparatus or health or things like he doesn't have reuse like key blast or anything he's just a dude with a knife who's really strong Let's go, Karim. Oh. Man, I was so expecting for Karim to show up in Street Fighter 4. Uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4. It was weird that she didn't, honestly. With all the other characters that were announced. Just like... There was not a lot of alpha representatives in Street Fighter 4. It was very third strike based and even then there were a lot of characters with third strike that weren't showing up either. Like I'm surprised that Alex and Karin showed up and in Street Fighter 5 and became a part of the main cast. Oh! Damn it! You gotta be real close to be able to finish that off. Uh oh, it's getting close. This is not good. It's just, this just still got in. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, that was close. That was actually close. I had to kind of stop myself for a second there. Level five, got in. This is a rematch from that time from the Alpha Arcade run. Uh-oh. She's really offensive. I started really getting into Karin as well. I'm not a big technical fighter. Like, I really don't like technical fighters that much. But, like, Karin is super fun. And, like, she's a great, like... If you're just getting into Street Fighter, she's a fun character to start with. Because she is just, like, super interesting to use and super simple. Like, she's not an over-the-top, super, 
like crazy technical fighter. She's very simplistic. Uh, similar to the way that I'd say that Sakura is a very simple Shota character. She doesn't have too much bullshit going on. These are just two really good characters to start off if you're just getting into the Street Fighter. Which is going to be interesting to see all of the new Street Fighter players showing up, you know? Let's go birdie! But yeah. I'm excited for more stuff. Like, it's weird. We're at the early stages of arcade mode. Or arcade edition. And I'm just waiting for the next big announcement. I'm... Waiting for the next trailer to drop for the next character. Um, who is the next character? Blanca is the next character, I believe. Which is going to be weird to see Blanca in Street Fighter V. Um, and then on top of that, like... Now we got to worry about battle, battle... Extra battle modes and costumes and stuff like that. And I'm interested to see what comes next there, too be easy as I get tripped over. Fuck you, buddy. And then you throw. I'm surprised Sakura made it into this game. I don't think anybody's, anybody was really expecting her to show up, honestly. I'm surprised Blanca showed up at all, <laughs> honestly. Like, out of everybody, Blanca is probably the strangest pick. I would... Uh, let me think about this for a second. There are... There was... There was one female character... No, there was two female characters. And, uh... In the first season, there was two female characters in the second season, and now there's two female characters. Oh, that's a trend. There's always two female characters in every season of Street Fighter. Interesting. Because the first season it was Jury and Ibuki, and the uh, second season it was oh bonus stage, uh, Colleen and Manat, and this new season is. Uh, Man, I can't say her name right. I'm just going to call her Flake and Sakura. Very interesting. Um, I wonder if that's intentional. So, how does this bonus stage work? Oh, right. I got to break shit. Ow! Oh, and I, I guess I'm fighting at the same time? Uh oh Stop. Okay. Damn it. Oh. oh my god. At least this is more doable than uh, Street Fighter 4's version of this. That sucked. Street Fighter 2 was a little easier. Street Fighter 4... The bonus stages are so tough. Like, the car one was easy. The barrel one was the most annoying thing. This one actually seems doable. The exploding barrels are, are a thing that I like. But that's pretty cool. I'm glad they added bonus stages. I'm interested to see if there's more or if it, that's the only one. Because I... I mean, I think a lot of us would like the, the Street Fighter 1 bonus stages. Or the car bonus stage would be interesting to see come back. If it's just the barrel stuff, I'd be kind of annoyed. Round one. But more than likely it is. Fight. Man, I want more nostalgic class uh, stages as well, honestly. I'm really into the fact that they like brought all those Street Fighter 2 stages into Street Fighter 5. Like, I want to see more of that. I want to see more Alpha stages. I want to see Alpha. I want to see Third Strike stages. I want to see the the Italian stage from Alpha 2. 
I thought that was such a good stage. I want to see uh, the final stage, the one that you face Bison in from Alpha as well. Um, what else? It's a lot of third strike stages that are pretty good too. Um, oh, it's gonna! Damn it! I whiffed it. Whiff those. Ah. Whip supers and dropped combos is what you've come to expect from my channel. I'm the throw queen. Uh, and a jab. You win. I just want a cool, like, subway New York stage. Like from Third Strike. Uh, whose stage is it? Is it Ken's or is it Alex's? I think it might be Ken's. I know in Second Impact, uh, or is it Alpha? There is a stage in which it's like downtown, and it's like New York City, and then like everybody's in the background, and it's super like elaborate and interesting. Ah, it's Rashid time. Is he gonna play his theme? His theme's amazing. Oh. Round one. Yes, it is. Fight. I'm just dying. I'm, I'm feeling super sick. It's super cold down here. I live in the States, and uh, the South is freezing. Not as bad as the North, but hey, come on. I've lived in the South for like the majority of my life, so I'm so used to the height, to the heat, so any kind of cold is, is incredible for me. <sighs> Sorry, Rashid. You have an awesome theme, but you're gonna get thrown. Again, throws are like straight up hard punches and hard kicks in this game. Like, they're very applicable. You know what? That's super cool. There's a lot of startup to that drop. Boom. Man, this stage is weird. Just a fine plane stage. It's something you'd probably think would be in Street Fighter. Like, I see this in, like, Smash Brothers. And it's done! You win! Still love that theme. You know. When they first announced Sakura, I legitimately thought that she was going to be, like, a commentator. Like, that was going to be her job. She was going to be uh, f an FGC commentator. I mean, maybe that's what she is. I mean, she works in an arcade. Maybe they have competitions, and she becomes a commentator. I think a lot of people were expecting that from her. Fuck it, let's change the canon right now and say that she is. She's just an FGC commentator. Round one. Let's go, Kami. For your costume. I love original Kami's costume. Alpha Kami, Kami is my favorite. I've already said that. Uh, in Street Fighter 4, she's got some pretty sweet costumes. You know what? That's kind of crazy. I just thought about that, but like, she... It's here for before, she doesn't get her alpha costume either. That sucks. Like she should get her in a she should get an alpha costume. There should be more nostalgia costumes for everybody. And Chung Lee should stop getting so many goddamn costumes. Although I do like the concept of like, hey, we got an artist and he did a bunch of different designs and we're gonna do them all. Like I, I like the concept and the theme is just like, these are costumes of uh, Chung Li's life. But there should be more for everybody. Ah, oh, still wasn't close enough. The distance has, the distance must be like super close then. Well, I mean, well, obviously, the closer you get, the better chances you have. But yeah, I like to see that for everybody. Honestly, that'd be super cool. Everybody getting different costumes. Different artists associated to them. That'd be cool. Let's go, Fang. 
Fang is weird. It was a weird addition, but he was an interesting one. I really hate gimmick fighter. Like, Dan is okay to a point. Round I really one. don't like joke Fight. characters unless they can really be used properly, like, in an interesting way. But if they're just, like, whatever joke characters with a simple concept behind them, like, this joke character is a technical character, or this joke character is just the Shota. It does kind of, like, maybe go, like, eh, what's the point of you? But Fang is such a cool, interesting character. Like, I wouldn't consider him a joke character, although he's very close sometimes, especially in the story mode. Other fighting games happening in the background while all these scientists are freaking out. Oh. Yep. That V skill is super fun. Nice. You win. Uh Balrog. Let's take down the boxer. Rashido. Let's go, Balrog. Secret area. You and your cool ass default costume. The Shadowloo base. You know, I haven't actually sat down and played with everybody's sec like second V trigger. I'm interested to see what changes there are. Uh, I haven't even seen that trailer that apparently showcased all of them, uh, just because I've been so busy. But I am definitely going to dive in deep after all these recordings. Uh, hopefully, I will be able to. Uh, have that amount of time proper. It's gonna be crazy, man. Like, the next couple of weeks is gonna be insane. When Monster Hunter World and Dragon Ball Fighter Z comes out, oh, it's gonna be hard to split my time. Especially since I'm, like, literally halfway done with uh, Final Fantasy 15. I am literally all over the place in my, uh, in my game time. Honestly. And on the side- Oh, hey! There's the dolls. And on the side, I'm playing Dragon's Crown, which is super fun. And I'm thinking about playing something else. Just something fun and easy to go back to. But, yeah. I'm gonna put a lot of time into the 4. Five, Street Fighter V. And Dragon Ball Fighters. If anything, for Monster Hunter World, uh... I am planning the final boss is Bison. Actually, this is a change because it usually is uh, Ryu. This is different. Um, does he get a cool little intro? Oh, I mean, he just gets his intro, right? Uh, Monster Hunter World, I'm playing with somebody, so we're going to be going through that together. So I guess I don't have to worry about that. So yeah, I can put as much time into Dragon Ball and uh, Street Fighter. Great games. Fighting games are fucking crazy. Injustice 2 has a bunch of insane DLC characters coming out. Tantris just showed up. Uh, next is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's gonna be crazy. Uh, what else is happening? Oh right, SNK heroines showed up. Fucking uh, gal fighters. Got a sequel, which is insane. Come on, Bison. Oh. Uh oh. 
Let's go. And then I'm just gonna. Yep. Nice. Don't make this easy. You're a level 5 bison. Should be tough as hell. Man, I still remember having trouble with that goddamn Kami. <laughs> um, that level 3 Kami. She was a level 3 Kami, and I had so much trouble with her. Oh! Ah. That sucks. Totally fucked that one up. Man, that was open. Uh-oh. Huh. Gotta be careful. And throw. Nope. Oh, man. There's gotta be easy way to combo into that. We did it. You win. We beat Street Fighter V, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see what the uh, ending's gonna be like. Is it gonna be crazy cool? Is it gonna be lame? I'm hoping for super cool. Huh? Oh, yeah. wow. This is an interesting art style. This is, uh, this is different. I don't know if I don't like- Whoa, look at that! That's cool! That's a cool art style right there. <laughs> I'm dying because it's so good. Thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and I'll see you next time.